there are times when you'll be on the web and you want to have a nice, easy reading experience. If you need to spend a bit of time reading about something and don't want to be distracted by other things on the site, um, then the reading view may come in handy. Now, reading view is very popular on mobile devices, but not so much on desktop browsers. Microsoft Edge aims to change that. So you can see that a site supports a reading view in the particular page that you're on. If you see that this icon right here is white, it'll be kind of grayed out if it's not supported. So what you can do, if, you're, if you notice that, all you have to do is click on that, and it's gonna take you into a reading view. So as you can see, all the advertisements that were on the website, uh, other links, the things in the sidebar, comments section, all of that is gone, and all you're left with are the words that are actually in the article. Now what's great about this is you can uh, also change it to kind of suit your personal style. So if you go into the settings here and then you see here it says reading re, uh, reading view style so you can change the font size as well so you can make it smaller or larger and then you can also change it from the default which is this kind of yellowish kind of like a, a page in a book kind of color and then you have a light theme medium theme which is just a little bit more gray and then a dark theme which uses white font on a black background which might be particularly good for nighttime reading so that is the reading view in microsoft edge quite handy all right let's also talk briefly about using the reading list so not only can you switch over to a reading view for most articles on most websites you can also add a particular article or a particular web page to your reading list. And what that does is it saves pages that you are going to want to read later in a specific list separate from your ordinary bookmarks. So all you have to do is when you're on that page, you would just go ahead and click the uh, favorites button here, the star, and then you would just choose to add it to your reading list. There's a little notification that I did that. We go back in my hub and I just go to the reading list and I click on that article. It's going to load up that page. Unfortunately, it doesn't load it in the reading view. That would be really nice, uh, but hopefully we'll see that come in the future.